Establish a connection between vampire epidemic <clears throat> and the flu. Interesting. I have so much XP. This one? No. <clears throat> when this chapter's over, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, <gasps> he's gone. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> I thought he's gonna be missing. <laughs> Evening, like, oh! Edgar. Nocturnal, Can I get what's your going on? Professional opinion? Lady Ashbury song, please. please. Speak, oh, is there a Lady Ashbury I have song? something important to tell you. Oh, no, you do. This strain of flu. It's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Um. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. It's a BTT. I see. Oh. Do you have anything okay. more to go on? This disease spreads. Oh, I know what sour please is. Like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The oh, I thought that you were talking about maybe La Lady Ashbury sings a song. This is very interesting. <laughs> Did you find something else? Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. I guess it would be similar act, to rabies, except rabies kills you. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties oh that the song this place when you speak with her oh, okay Think okay the possibilities uh i may turn london into my realm but the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation i know but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties with our minds and your blood there's nothing we couldn't cure We'll How would this you go later. about testing thank that? Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. I really like but the music on I this said, game. I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Oh no, what? Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. Oh, we know. My sister. We killed She's her. She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. Oh, my mom's still I alive. I should go sorry, see my Jonathan. mom. Please accept my condolences. Oh, interesting. Attend Mary's funeral? Uh. Stone Ridge Cemetery? Is that this one? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm not gonna go to sleep yet because that place is clear. No, it's not. I had to run through it. Fuck. I gotta fight all those guys again. So let me evolve. Oh my god. It's gonna take me so long to kill all those guys again. Well, I can upgrade this now. Let me look at these. Rage, you lose control and let the beast take over for a short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. So this is melee. Shadow. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet, coming to life. The shadows interrupt an enemy in an area and inflict tremendous damage. And this is blood. You focus your power to boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode, dealing damage to the target and anything nearby. Ooh. This one I have to be targeted. So I wonder...
I wonder which of these is the best one. I haven't seen too many people be able to resist blood. But I have seen some. Definitely need an ultimate. Yeah. Maybe I'll do blood cauldron. I guess these aren't very expensive. Oh, well, I stand corrected. Um, oh. Oh, it costs 400 blood. Okay, I see. I thought that was the I thought that was the like the spending to get the ability. Excuse me. A lot of people are um, resistant to melee. But I have a feeling later games or like later game enemies are going to be resistant to blood. Oh well. We'll do that for now. And then. <clears throat> I wonder if this is worth, like, specking into. Both blood and shadow alt are good? Okay. I wonder if I should just upgrade this. I wonder how much more damage this does. Shadow Miss AoE is so nice. Yeah, I've been having a lot easier time killing things with it, that's for sure. Just do it. <clears throat> Shadows will pull in a single place. All targets within this area are stuck constantly by slithers of dark, causing them to bleed. The vampire will directly absorb the blood from the wounds. Oh, I will? What's this one? Shadow explosion has increased range and damage. Ooh, I kind of like this one, though. I'll probably go with this one. Okay. They like He hasn't let me into his house yet. I killed that guy. <clears throat> oh, I went from 11 to 14. Okay. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. You have I'll to. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Well, we know what happened to her. Remember you need to heal people? Yeah. Um, I did. Well, so I healed... I healed, um... I gave, oh, I don't know that lady. Um, I gave them medicine, they're cured. 
Um, I just need to... Oh, maybe I should make stuff for them while I'm... Since I'm, like, so close to my... Uh, where's my thing? What is it? Fatigue? Fatigue. 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 All these are fatigue? Jeez. I can only carry two at once, too. I think I can. Oh no, I can't see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that should be enough. <laughs> I would really make sure to heal Whitechapel before leaving next time at least. It's too close to hostile, which means the area loses all NPCs and it's just filled with enemies. Oh, so for Whitechapel, I had, I had been giving them medicine, but so when I finished her quest, um, I chose to um, charm her instead of killing her or sparing her and she's she's a she's a vampire now she's a skull now so I had wondered if that had to do with if like the the condition of the district like had to do with that and I'm like but wait if I would have spared her she might have gotten killed anyway and if I would have killed her it definitely would have like Oh, that's, uh... Oh, I meant to go heal the people in the hospital. It's locked, all oh. right. Good evening, Miss Howe. I need blood. Do you require... I have no... Uh oh. I'll leave you. She's not one. Who do I need to talk to here? Uh, okay, I need to go up to the private guy's room. Harvey, Ackroyd, Thomas. Uh, I kind of wish that it I'm came quite busy right now. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm cap- Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> what we the- We do not see you in surgery very often. I am busy. Oh, wait. Tell me, Waverly. What do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Oh. Uh... Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? 
And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. Thank you for your... Who else? Uh, Thomas... These people are outside. I don't remember where this guy is. I'm so tired. Well, this shift never ends. to give you the benefit of the. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No, I don't feel well actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Goodbye, so Mrs. many Goswick. hints that I need! What about you, kiddo? Good evening. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I want to talk to your kiddo. Good evening. What the fuck? Goodbye, Mrs. G Good evening, Mr. G I'm okay. Do you need any- Thank you, Dr. Reed, but- How painful. So painful, I brought- hmm. I have to go now. The sky. Good evening, Mr. Fitt. Good evening, Dr. Rick. Uh, is there anything? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Oh, I got a, an achievement. Hippocratic Oath. Goodbye. For always knew the words to come. Uh, who else? Children, Helen. As for me. Can you imagine having a bed right by the door? I would never feel safe. Come now, we can handle this. Uh, is it this one? A daily routine. I wonder what yeah. your last thoughts would be, sir. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier. Do you need assistance? Not really. I think I caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead, yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye. Most of them are outside, I think. Oh, this is something different. Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. It's not every street corner. A daily routine. Good evening. Good evening. Do, do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. Goodbye, Milton. Lady. You. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. 
Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Be freezing, too? Um... My Goodbye, video's nurse. freezing? Call me if you need assistance. Empire Vision has their new. Oh, okay, okay. Um, where's the other doctor? It's like in a funky little place, right? Yeah. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Oh my god, that would be horrible. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. Oh, oh having the bed by the door, yeah. It would be constantly cold. Like, what if somebody just, like, reached in and snatched you up? Um... You can't... You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do Ew. you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Dang. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. Oh, I had to keep talking to her. It says convince her to go back to Whitechapel. Did I just have to keep talking to her and that was it? Oh, that's irritating. Okay, so... Migraine cold. Do I have to go back and heal this guy? No. And then all of these are fatigue. Migraine. Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. So I need two, mig two migraines and a cold. Oops. Oh my. Ah! Man. I wonder if she's going to be dead now. I have a cold. So I need another migraine. What is it? Two migraines and a cold? My a uh, cold, migraine. Okay. Oh, and I need to give this to the lady. Give me a 
as well just go back downstairs. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help, your... I'm afraid I've contracted some illness. Not under my watch, Nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. I should have seen if she Good had... Evening. Good evening. No? Nothing? Okay. Goodbye. Okay, was she the last one? No. Oswald Thatcher, where the fuck is this guy? I don't remember where this guy is. Hmm. Sometimes this woman textures on her face don't load and it's creepy, oh God. Yeah, that would be creepy. first dude oh is this down by is it down here aha who's he with oh I haven't met this guy yet stop looking around I'm right here in front of you it's locked Over there. His body's gone. I killed him back here. Gentlemen, I cannot enter. Uh, what? Wait, uh, huh? it's locked, all right. Wait, I'm so confused. Uh, hmm. Investigate the citizens' actions, but aha. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? Aww. You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I, I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. But we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Aww. They're like nice and cozy down here. Fuck the wall, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. Uh. Now is it unlocked? Hello, please let it's me locked. in. Can I would like to be in here with you guys. For God's sake. Hmm. I don't know who who would I talk to about that. They're both sick. 
they made each other sick. This is the guy you saved in the sewers. Oh! I wonder if that's how you get in here. Is there another door? There's all- Oh, hello! You're here! Good evening, <gasps> sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan <clears throat> Reed of <clears throat> Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed! So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Uh... Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Oh. Oh, we don't have anything for a cold. Oh, I crap. will see. <clears throat> Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. I just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Oh, after I talk to this guy, I have to go to How bed. How do you feel about Oswald so Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What people find out. Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know. I never thought I'd love a man. Aww. <clears throat> I won't say a word, Mr. Blight. Your secret is safe with me. I fought for my country and I survived. I saw my comrades die. And now society tells me I'm a criminal for who I love. It makes me so angry. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. <sighs> That's how we woke up. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Aww. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Okay, I'm gonna loot their little house. Oh. I cannot enter. I'm not responsible for everything bad that has happened. Oh my gosh. I... I need to find a way to save and go to sleep. I'm so freaking tired. And then tomorrow I'll come back and talk to that guy. I think I just need to go into a district, like another district. Uh... 
I suppose I could sleep. doesn't automatically save. I thought it did. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll sleep to save. I thought it automatically did. What's going on? Don't sleep. I have work tomorrow. The Y in the right? Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, too late. No, I mean in game. Yeah, no, I didn't. I looked up here and I didn't see it. Uh, I walked out. I walked into the White Chapel and then back into the Pembroke, and I was looking up here and down here, and I didn't see it. So I wasn't sure. I have this. Uh, this guy won't let me in his house, so I can't. Oh, he's getting worse. I see. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm so tired um, and I have work tomorrow. So I'll be back. Lights, you came in right at the last second. I'm sorry. I hope you have a good day tomorrow and a, and a good night tonight. Um, I meant to sleep in game, not IRL. Yeah, I figured that out after, after of course. I was like, wait. Um, Oh, thank you, Nocturnal. Uh, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow. I work till 6 tomorrow, but, um, so I think I'm gonna get on when I get home from work and continue this, and then I have, um, <sighs> I have work on Tuesday and Wednesday, like early Wednesday morning, so I don't think I'll be able to stream on Tuesday, but I think I'll be able to stream on Wednesday. <laughs> you guys have a good, so tomorrow, Monday, and then Wednesday is my next one, my next stream day. You guys have a good night, a good day, a good morning, a good evening, wherever you are. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me for a little bit, and I will see you guys tomorrow.